Today we'll be taking a look at this very basic Honeywell thermostat, electronic, that even features a now pretty standard battery backup or battery operation mode. And this one's pretty basic, just if you cross this temperature, turn on or turn off cooling or heat. So they give you this easy to use wall mount plate that allows you to screw in the wires from the wall and then it just has this large connector that snaps it all in. Alright, so let's do a teardown on it. I'm already not greeted with any screws so they're all hidden. Well, I found a programming header but that doesn't that doesn't get us in. All right, it appears to be held on with just clips. I made that slightly too complicated, but it worked. All right, so now we've got into it. Well, case is nothing special. Membrane buttons are uh, actually quite thick. This is, this is solid molding here. Pretty nice response. Yeah, these buttons are solid. That's Usually they're hollow inside, but no, these are pretty solid, quite heavy. Here's the main board. There's a single processor, Atmega 169PV. I wonder if they're just running Arduino code on here. That'd be interesting to poke around on the serial interface that we've got over here. Let's see if there's anything interesting. There's just three relays, Omron branded. I'm assuming this can turn on, actually I don't know what all you can do. Heating, cooling, and something else. Fairly large capacitors compared to some form of uh, power filtering there. Here's the crystal oscillator for the, I guess, well, it doesn't have a real-time clock, does it? Here's the clock chip for the processor. It's got this nice little metal shroud over top that holds it in place. The front is basically nothing. Got a little piece of probably reflective, just white card covering up the single LED that lights the whole thing. Very basic, probably zebra connected. LCD. There's the LCD. Yeah, it's just the basic zebra connector on it. Comes out in this nice little module. Very interesting. Well, to macro this or something, it doesn't show up on camera. Very interesting etching to get the light all the way across the display. So at least they made an effort. Oh, there's a little retention space for the zebra strip built in. So that. Hopefully it gets rid of the problem where zebra strips misalign and the LCD goes wonky. So that holds it in. Yep. The only thing on this side besides the contact pads is the single LED. It's rather weird. So this entire connector is surface mount. You would expect them just to use some sort of through hole thing, but no. Nope. It's entirely surface mount. Some other connector at the top, but I don't know what that's for. It's marked P7, let's trace it out. Yeah, I can't really figure out what that's doing on there. This little battery clip's built into the board. I like that, you're not gonna have problems with that. Yeah, the mechanism seems pretty good. Poked around all of the uh, programming headers. Some of them have three volts, some on the ground. I don't know, that's probably just only for programming, but there's no feedback of any kind. Uh, maybe in a future video I'll try uh, dumping whatever's on the processor and then maybe doing some stuff with it. We'll see. But, uh, yep, it works and we can make it click. We'll just tell it, uh, fine. Oh, that's off. There, it clicked. Yay. Well, you can't hear it. Anyway, well, thanks for joining subscribe and all that stuff or something but yeah more videos soon bye